In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the switch function to check multiple conditions using an easy way. In the example, I want to check a project status based on this code. Type switch and add the first argument, which is the expression. You can use numbers or a text value, but it can be a result of a formula. I'm going to give a list of text values within the function and use a value in result pairs. For error handling purposes, I will define a value if no match is found. Press enter to get the result. The switch function can go through those values and if it finds a match for C3, it will return the corresponding value. Now, here is the solution using a nested if formula. The main difference is that this formula is difficult to read when multiple conditions are nested. You can also use the ifs function. The function is similar to the switch function, but all conditions are evaluated, which can impact performance in complex scenarios. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more tips, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.